talk of the town. Today we got a special guest. Finesse the Bulls. You feel me? Um, tell the people where you from. Brooklyn, New York, feel me? Brownsville side. Brownsville style. So Brownsville kind of mixy on the music tip. Yeah, Brownsville been mixy on the music. <laughs> How you stay <laughs> out of that? Oh, I grew up in the Ville my whole life. So the niggas that's beef and all that shit, like seeing that on the internet. Yo, bro, I went to school with these niggas. Like, I grew up in Brownsville houses, Osborne, Blake. If you're from the Ville, you why, know where that's at. Because I ain't over there no more. They ain't going to oh. catch me over there. Oh. And feel me, I love the Ville. Shout out all my Ville niggas, feel me? Love all y'all, feel me? It's always love in the hood, feel me, wherever it's at. But for me, like, I don't know. It's been mixy since years ago, bro. And that shit just didn't die out. It hasn't been mixy for a long time. I think the internet made it worse. Clout. Because it was never did that crazy. Nah, it was, yo. Back in my day. Bro, no. You don't feel like internet made it worse, though? Nah, Cause yo. Cause even though that shit been happening, it's now on Instagram, Facebook. Now the niggas is been bashed. Now he want to spin back, but he probably want to spin back. But that shit been on Facebook. It's like, it's because niggas can go live now. It ain't the posting, it's the live. Because when they go live, they can talk like, all that shit. Like, real time. Yeah, like, and you got niggas respond, you got the comments, it'd be the comments. <laughs> it'd be the okay. boy. So, Finesse, how did you get your name? Like, what's the story? Yo, I've been Finesse since 10th grade. So I know funny stuff, I was like 16. I just had tattoo on my arm, and Finesse just came from everything I did, like, I did it, like, through skill, with something I wanted to do gracefully. I always wanted to help, assist something. I always wanted to be the best. Like, so when I took the word finesse to me, like, people use the word finesse and think it's supposed to mean slime, like, it's supposed to zoe somebody, steal some shit, like, you supposed to do yeah. something like that. But I took the word and meant to, like, nah, it's more like, how I could put it in the words for y'all? Like, oh. it's doing shit with skill, it's doing shit, like, making it look popping, like. Oh, yeah, I get, I get your chance. I get your chance. Like, if you look up finesse on the internet, it means, like, intricately defined, like. Yeah. Like intricate, let's say son that's okay. So you did your homework behind Hell yeah, I love name. being finesse. I love finesse, man. Before you like started pushing it, you did your homework. I oh, see. OD, OD. I see, I see, I see. It's the brand. You gotta brand yourself nowadays. You gotta brand yourself. I see, I see, I see. So who was you listening to growing up? Oh, I was listening to everybody. I was listening to 50 Cent, Jay Z. I love listening to Lil Wayne. So I fuck with Meek Mill. That's one of my top five. Pop, Ice Baby. Cube, like I got an old soul. Yeah, but Baby, that was my old people. Yeah, like rest in peace, DMX. Like rest in peace, DMX. You not listen to none of the new people. Like these days, hell, y'all listen to <laughs> I listen to the Fabio, the Siggy Black. I listen to um, Max the Demon. I'm trying to shout out niggas who I listen to. I listen to um, Future, Dirt. Who rapping? Okay, just making sure because he said man. Nah, cause I listen. I listen to the new music for me. It's it's, it's fire. Okay, <laughs> so. okay. So who would you say? Who would you say inspired you musically or inspired the sound or inspired me musically? Yeah. Mm. See, I just say, and people don't like to give it in, I say Meek Mill and Tupac. Like, because overall, like, through my years of rapping and making music, like, those uh -huh. two artists I would listen to for days on days on days. I would sit okay. in my room all day, play Meek Mill, old albums, DC One, Flamers, and shit like that. Okay. So, like, they always, and they stories is what spoke to me, like, overall, like, always. Meek's story damn near matched my whole life and shit, so. Okay, so they inspired you, they inspired you by, because they was inspiration, right? Yeah. Okay, so like, um, okay, so who's some artists you would want to work with? Artists I want to work with in these days, these if days, I could, any times. artists. Yeah. I, I want to work with Meek Mill off the top. I'm going to keep saying Meek. They probably would be like, this nigga's a <laughs> Meek fan. fan. <laughs> Look, a lot of niggas is Meek fans. A lot of niggas. For me, ain't nothing. For me, my son, real nigga. Yeah. But I do some of my son, Meek. If I could, I'd go on the track with um, Dirk. I'd go on the track with... So I want to do some shit with probably, like, Uzi. I want to do some shit... Probably, like, with Fabio, son. I fuck with my son. Okay, so all the people you pretty much said already. Yeah, for, for, the most like, part, for the most part. So, um, what kind of music would you say you make? The type of music I make? That's a good question. Because everybody, well, New York on that drill shit now. Yeah. And I don't really, my music not type of drill shit. I guess, like, I try to describe it as motivation music. Like, the way I tell my story when I'm breaking, when I'm breaking that shit down, I'm spitting it out. It's more like, it ain't like you got to spin a block with 50 ops. It's, it's more <laughs> so, for real though, it's more so like what you doing after that, like, it's more so like, what's the pain and the feeling you get? Like, cause okay. the niggas make that street shit like it's some cute shit, and like, this niggas happy when they go on and shoot the ops. Like, 
I like be G-Tro. Ain't no nigga that went on a mission and really sat in the V, smiling, spinning a block. And I mean that shit like, like anybody watching this shit, if you sat in the V, you know damn well you was not smiling, happy. Like, Are you making music for them people that's like thinking about the repercussions? No, nah, I'm saying? making music for the people that, I, I gotta get a, the real understanding to it because everybody make that gun shit sound like that's the way, like, it's, it's a way to be a street nigga okay. and not be a dumb street nigga type of yeah. thing. I think mean, it's, it's not a lot of those, but there are those out there. Shit, I can't, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying no it's not a lot me. of them, but it's some out there. So no you're speaking to those people? Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to okay. speak. And if I can't, if there's not an audience for them, then the next generation coming up, everybody can't just listen to, yo, go pick up a gun. Like, it's kids that's listening, like, Nigga, I'm 23. It's going to be kids listening to my song. I don't want them to be like, oh, I got to go pick up the gun. I want them to know the feeling like, damn, I might go have to pick up this gun and what's going to come from that? Like, why yeah, I got to do this? Like, after, yeah, like. And how if, like, niggas make it sound like, oh, rest in peace, my man, like, all that shit. All that shit is not fire. Like, niggas be saying that shit like it's fire. That shit hurt. It's a lot that come with that shit. I mean, so you being an artist, how do you separate the street shit from the hood shit? Or shit, me? I'm... I'm fully tapped out the streets. Like, oh, right okay. now, yo, I've reached a point in my life, and that's why I'm speaking, like, because I was one of them niggas, like, out there running around, oh, yeah. like, doing mad dumb shit. Like, I caught, like, I was on probation for two years in high school. Nigga, got up out that, had to do mad stupid Damn, shit. high school? Sheesh. Yeah, because I was, I mean, you know, so you got to be hustling <laughs> and shit like that. You got to finesse it for me. Y'all got to tell y'all. Do gotta do it. Look, I beat cases for me. Lawyers go, we, we go, we straight oh, all, all the time. We so go. on the music tip. Always music. <laughs> from the old finesse like, the boss, uh, always music. Strictly what's music. What's your call? So in the studio, what's your studio process like? Studio process, I go in, boom. Luxor Studio, that's why I record that shout out them. I'm gonna shout out everybody I fuck with, cause for me, <laughs> nigga, I fuck with them for me, and they helping the nigga out right now. Okay. But for me, I go in the stool, it's just me and my engineer, Sue, and I don't need nobody up in that shit with me. I don't even, I smoke probably like two blunts in there, probably be a six, eight hour session, I don't like to be too deadly. And like, all I need is my beats, I got my phone with me so I could read my lyrics for me, rap. And we just go crazy up in that shit. Like, so we you don't be crazy. having mad, mad people with you? Mm -mm, Cause that distract me. Like if it's too many people around me, I'm gonna be distracted. I'm gonna wanna be like, oh, what's this person doing? Or this motherfucker might be on the phone or some shit. Like it's gonna be, I, I like much. to lock in. Like okay. I like to lock in and focus type so shit. So like. being focused, definitely. Um, Hell yeah. So when did you say you got into music or when did you start taking it more seriously? I got into music. See, I can end those two different questions. I got into music. I was like ninth, tenth grade, son. Cause shout out all my niggas for me. They had niggas freestyling and shit like that. We would always be like in the classroom on the back of lunch. Mad bitches used to fuck with me cause I was freestyling. I was mad and nice, but then I got, to, <laughs> okay. I took, I got them college and shit. And that's when I really I got in the studio and I did like a whole thirty song tape, dropped that shit. Like, so you did go to college? Hell yeah, I went to college from four. Nah, technicalities for me, like, it wasn't like I failed out, no, that we ain't failed out, I was on the president's list, all that shit. Would you, um, would you go back? If I could, hell yeah, because I had one year left. It was the fees okay. and shit, like, college expensive kids, if you get, if you get a scholarship, get a scholarship for me, like, college expensive, <laughs> like, that's the only reason why I ain't there, like. Okay, okay. For real, for real, like. Do you feel like it's worth it? Ooh, son. I mean, this is way off topic, though. Know, nah, it's <laughs> never, because that's a part of what made me do music and shit, like, Okay. I ain't, cause when I ended up in college, like I did, I did college shows and shit. I found out like music stuck with me, and that was my main passion. Okay. And I found out how I wanted to be. So you found out music was your passion in college. Well, it stuck with me. So yeah, I guess you could say that, cause I was okay. shit could have stuck, and it probably would have been like, but music never left a nigga. So. Okay. But yeah, though, it's like I, I feel like it's worth it in terms of developing yourself and developing like your skills with people, like with people. It ain't like some. I don't think a book is the answer to anything type shit. Mm. I feel like it's just more so networking and being able to develop yourself as a person, like being able to stand up. Like, that's one of the first times when people were alone and shit, so you become a different type of person. Yeah. Like, for real, for real. That's, that's different. Okay. <laughs> How you feel me? Like, so, hmm. So what are some obstacles you, you face while making music? Obstacles? To be honest, since I'm one of the, like, I'm up and coming right now. For me, so it's like, they, the, the people that's in them positions, like they probably not even at the top. They probably like middle, or probably a little bit ahead of me. They kind of be reluctant to fuck with you, but it's like we ain't getting no clout off the nigga. We ain't getting no none extra off the nigga. So they kind of be like, you would come up front with the cash. You got everything ready to go, and they still, it's like 
they won't want to fuck with you type shit. So it's harder to get through the door. Why do you think people don't want to fuck with each other? Do you think that's a New York thing? Or you think that that's like all over? It's not everywhere. Everywhere people don't, people be trying to get up. They be hating everybody's city amongst each other. But in New York, it's like, it be too much, I feel like. Because it be hate for no reason. Motherfuckers will be hating niggas they don't know. It be just shit going on where it's like, you ain't, you ain't really got to be a hater for me. Like, you could not like a motherfucker, but you ain't got to go up on the internet or oh, that shit trash or this shit. Because then you, you fucking up our whole image as a, as a city. Because then, like, that's that. If you, if one side fucking woo cho, nigga, if the woo saying the cho ops fuck them, the cho saying the woo ops fuck them, nigga, y'all splitting up and y'all halfing down the city. So it's like, now niggas gonna pick and choose instead of it being yeah. a whole melting pot as it should be. Like, we in New York, gang. Like, this shit okay. shouldn't be like this for me. So you're over the, all the politics and all that extra shit. Man, I'm over all that shit. But everybody over that shit, But though. isn't it hard to do music when you kind of, like, the city is kind of forcing you to pick a side? So you think it's hard to, like, Keep it trail. I fuck with, yo, but I fuck with blood niggas, crip niggas. I fuck with folk niggas. So I said that to say, like, if you your own person for me and you is who you is, you you could it is not a problem to to fuck with all sides and be that nigga like I'm like for me niggas want to be that nigga in terms of what other people think like if you is what you say you is bro it shouldn't be no real super hard to squash beef it shouldn't be no none of that shit it should always be back to I the mean, money. I feel like people people what uh, we have this talk all the time but they let's say like if I lost a friend like yeah. me and this person will not be cool and that is a trickle down effect as to why. It's so divided, but I feel like so. It's I don't know. It's it's dicey. You know how New York is. I, I know that shit. <laughs> I'm not. Like, I can't advocate because look, every yeah, point I know how I feel lose niggas and shit like that. So, so. yeah, when you lose people, everybody look at shit differently. So, shit. but if New York could come together one day, I'm here for it. I ain't here for, look, I'm here for it. Okay. I'm here for it. Look, yeah. I just watched a lot with this nigga. What's his name? OG, son. Turk. He was on live. He was going over the South Side beef, the Miami shit. And he was like, look, Miami shouldn't be no divider. Everybody can link up and get money. So I'm watching him. He an OG nigga. For me, everybody should know what's his name? Trick. Nah, matter of fact, it was Trick Daddy. Gangster was Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy? Okay. For me. So he was talking to like about 808. And he was like, for me, everybody in Miami ain't got to be all this beef shit. Oh, Niggas yeah, can link up and shit. And yeah, yeah, for me. And I, like in South Side, he was, he was with it. Like we on money shit. Like that, the city could have that monster. Like niggas is, could be gangster for me, but pull that shit to the side for the bread. And if it's if it's death on the so, table, then leave so, that shit where it's at. But you see, it took a person like Trick Daddy to make that statement, right? Oh yeah. So who do you think from New York could make that statement? <laughs> and like we could follow <laughs> suit. You feel me? I keep a trail right now. Nobody, cause ain't nobody in New York. I'm not even saying it's like that. Nobody in New York like really a leader type shit. Like everybody trying to follow behind something. Like, I'm, I'm going to be so 100. Everybody, like, trying to follow oh. behind some shit. I'm not, because I'm yeah, from New York. Like I'm no from the town for me. The I'm from the town. Not no more, son. Look, I came up looking at Jay-Z and being like, I want to be a Jay-Z. Like, ain't nobody that's, like, right now in that mind state. And Jay over there a billionaire, so he ain't going to come back. So it's like, who going to step up and say, yo, boy, let's do this different? Like, the OGs is, is damn near promoting like beef. it be niggas Ryan, like Jim Jones and Mano, I just feel like their voice not big enough. Jim Jones? They be trying. I ain't no comment. <laughs> they no be comment. trying. They be look, they got a little studio. They be trying to do a little podcast. They be trying. Look, shout Jim, stuff. shout Jim Jones. And for me, shout Jim Jones. But I guess that's not enough. I guess that's not enough. That's what I said. Who do you think it's is more big enough that'll make that? Ain't big. nobody in the city even that big. That's the that's the scary part. Like, cause it's not a numbers thing. It's an overall respect thing. Like. So you, so you feel like, damn, I feel like it's a respect thing. Like, overall, it's an overall it respect thing, son. I feel like it's, a lot of New York artists are respected, though. How? If we don't, if we can't respect each other, how we respect it? If every, if an artist gonna sit here and say, oh boy, this other nigga song is trash, that shit got had too many views, then where the respect level, like, it is no respect, like, that's what I'm talking about, there's no respect on the craft, like, all that other shit, like, you could, I don't even say this no dead niggas. All that ops that y'all should be dead I mean, too. Like, it's, it's no respect in the city. Like, even shit like that. Like, uh, and the people that got respect, it's like, it's not, it's from they side type of shit. Like, it's not fully, it's not fully from both sides. And so it's always gonna be that, it's gonna be a butt head, because there's always gonna be somebody that's trying to be, I'm top boss here, 
I'm top boss over here, and it's always gonna be. Kind of like the king of the city whole argument thing. And that shit always come back up. And it could be, fun. that's the thing, back in the day it was 50, J, it was old type of niggas rapping. Like, why I gotta be one king of the city? Like, why can't it be a nigga that's nice at melodies and that nigga great, then a motherfucker that's nice at balls, then a motherfucker that's nice at the freestyle? Why can't it be a Mount Rushmore great niggas? Like, I, like it's every nigga, everybody got a favorite artist type shit, right? Yeah. Like, let's say, yeah, you, you fuck got with Big Y'all got pop, like, Everybody, everybody can have a mount, like it could be a Mount Rushmore in the city, like a top yeah. five, top ten, like yeah. don't gotta be a number one type shit. Okay. Like, all right, all right. But niggas be hating, so you know, I don't know. Yeah. I be making New York sound crazy, bro. I be like, I, I try, cause I don't, I don't, look, I don't want to come up here and do that. If you watch this and you're not from New York, New York great for me. <laughs> like New York <laughs> is great. You, New York is fantastic. <laughs> I love the city. This is home right for me. I love the city. But if you in New York, you know what's up, and you know I'm not lying for me. And niggas that get up on this chair and they sit up here, fuck the ops and this shit, but they ain't gonna give you the whole real, like, that this shit, it, boy, this New shit. New York is not as bad as it may seem. <laughs> ain't as bad as other places I sit at. If you, if you, if you, if you, gonna be all right for me. But anyway, on the music tip, all right. Um, what would you say, like, What's your beat selection like when, like, you looking at beats? I ain't gonna hold you. I be on, I just click the first shit that's fire. And actually, producers been sending me beats now in my okay. email. Like, shout out to them niggas. So, for me. But, like, overall, I just go through every beat. I will just be typing in random shit. And then I will just click and start listening. And, like, I get a beat 10 seconds. If that shit don't catch me in 10 seconds, I'm off that shit. But if it catch me, I swear to God. Like, if that's it catch it? me in them 10 seconds, like, I'm on that shit. And I finish out the whole beat. It probably might take me a half hour. Sometimes I'll be busting out song. I'll get something on shorty. Like, I get like eight, nine song done. Probably like two hours. And that's just sitting there writing, like me locked in. Okay. I ain't gonna talk, like, I don't that's smoke a shit when I write. Eight, nine songs, two hours? That ain't not, that's not a lot. Like, me and a. Eight to nine songs? I mean, that's not like you if you got a chorus ball, chorus type shit. I mean, like, it depends. Cause some niggas write, I don't know. Well, I got one hand now, so it ain't gonna be like two hours. It might be like four for me. <laughs> but for me, it's gonna, it's gonna get done type shit. <laughs> it's gonna get done for me. So, um, who's like some artist that's like a dream collab? Dream collab? Yo, Meek, if you ever watch this, bro, I shout you, you out three times. Forget it, forget it, forget it. For real, because all these other artists, they be like stuck up. I'll take A Boogie too, and I'll take, I'll take Young and Me. I take okay. Kodak. See, now nah, I got some hits I'll take. Hey, I see a few hitters take shit. I don't do that. All I right, so, um, do you, are you looking to sign a deal or you don't mind staying independent or like what is, what's Ooh. your take on working solo at the moment? I mean, that deal shit, cra- I'm not, I'm not against signing a deal. It just gotta be a right. And the other thing, I don't need no 500K deal, all that shit. Cause my work ethic and my monster, the way I could do with a deal was like different. I don't need somebody to give me like six figures so I could be, I could, I'm living good right now for me. So it's just somewhere I, I took a partnership deal where it's like I could distribute the shit, like get help with it. I had creative control and stuff, so I could, I could put my stuff out at a time in and all type of stuff. Like I don't want to have no restrictions on my craft okay. anyway. But I, I would take a deal most def, like most definitely. I ain't against no deal. It's gotta be a good deal. Like, it's not a good okay, deal. Okay, so what's like, what's something that you wanna accomplish on the music tip? Like, something on your bucket list. My for bucket music. list? For this shit, I'm three tastes. But my main goal in music, like, before I wrap this shit up, it might be 50 years later, 60 years, it don't matter. Like, I wanna turn my, like, brand, like, Bozo Beast in the team, I'ma shout it out every song. So y'all might, y'all gonna hear today, y'all gonna hear every song. Like, and I wanna make that into a label for, like, I'm an up and coming rapper, so I know the struggle of, like trying to book a son to get an interview like this or yeah. get the fire, super fire Karen man's how I do. So I want to get to a position where it's like I am one of the J's in the game or not okay. Diddy because he bad business, but I'm in one uh-huh. of those people to where it's like, nah, but one of them had figures to where it's like I could put somebody on and I could, it'll make it easier for them. Like they don't got to have like 100K subs or like 50K subs. It's about, to me, it's going to be more so about talent because talent going to always make you money. Like, talent's gonna always make you money. I, I promise to God, like, yeah. so I wanna get to that position. That's my overall end goal, like, have my own label. Like, I don't even gotta sign artists. I'll make partnerships with artists and just try to, the same, the same way I want a label to do with me, I would, I would do as the label, like, 
just push them, just push because everybody, some like, some people just need that push. Not even everybody, like some yeah, people. Some people just need that push. So you were saying you definitely want to build the empire, like the Jay Zs and things like that. Uh, so yeah. like um, a lot of those artists, I feel, don't do that because I feel like people be unappreciative. I would yeah. say like the hood, we ain't got a lot. The hood is unappreciative. They be getting stuff. But we might not use it the right way. Yeah, for me. So, you feel me? And I think that's why the people like that leave those situations. And I've been seeing that come so out what? recently a lot, too. Like, the younger artists do, like, they, they be fucking over their deal. And they be doing, like, immature shit. That's and they do saying. make it hard for the so next like, company. But I don't know. I guess that come down to... But you you that you genuinely want to help people. So. I genuinely I genuinely do like from the bottom of my heart like I don't gotta be the best rapper like I could I could go out and never see a million views ever. But if I could get to that position, then I could probably help right. somebody get their million views or help okay. somebody get five hundred k. I would love. I don't care if you just zoned me, ran over for me. Like I'm in the spot where it's like I like I'm gonna be in that spot like okay. type thing. Like I want the city to win, son. And somebody got somebody gotta have that energy. Somebody, I don't care if it's one person. So you like, might be that leader to step up and. You know? Shit, don't say that because they want hate in the comments. <laughs> don't say they want like, who is unknown. They saying that they want hate, but for me, I won't even be mad at it. Type shit, I won't even be mad at it. Like somebody oh gotta God. do it, and if it ain't me and somebody that's more lit and more better and more famous, y'all come and do this shit. Y'all talk about it. Y'all get it done. Type like. Okay, okay, okay. So, what's next? What's next? Like, we hear your future plans. We hear what's the end goal. So what's next right now, 2021? 2021, we going crazy. Like, I ain't going to cap. We just dropped this video with Cap Mob, All Love Again Show. We got another video coming. I'm not going to tell you the name. I got a preview that's going to be dropping on my Insta Feature? tomorrow or Sunday. Features, man. Don't say tomorrow, because I don't know when it's not coming. I ain't even going. I ain't even going. Oh, that's a fact to work. <laughs> so for me, it, it might be out. It might be at That preview might be out. But Features... I'm gonna be quiet on that. I'm gonna be quiet on that. Cause nah. nah, I'm gonna be quiet because because nah. because for me, shout out Capo Mob and Capo know why I'm saying that. Shout out Capo Mob. I'm gonna be quiet on the feature for me, but I might get some features done on the low end, like sneaky tape. But um, okay. over the net, 30 songs is coming for y'all. I had a video showing what I'm. Um, 30 a, songs? Yeah, 30 songs coming. That's nothing to me. This okay. year, I promise 30 songs coming again. I got another video shoot next Saturday with um affiliated That's films. Great. Cause I don't know what's gonna come out. That's what oh I'm shit! But Gangsta. affiliated coming soon. Affiliated coming soon. Affiliated coming soon. And uh, what else coming? That's pretty much it. Whole promo run. Everything going up this year. Like be getting back on Spotify. Check my Spotify if y'all ain't never check it. Never would have made it up there. Like eighteen thousand. Drinking Lucy up there sixteen thousand. Check my video on Capital Mob going crazy. Like I got a lot of work coming. Like oh yeah, I got a lot of work coming. I'm gonna say that. Okay. Cash so tell the people, I was going to tell them where to find you and where to find your music. Man, find me oh, anywhere. Yeah. iTunes, Spotify, Tidal, whatever you got. Find me on YouTube. Same name, Finesse the Boys. Find me on Instagram, Finesse underscore the underscore Boys. Mm-hmm. For me, find me everywhere under that handle. If you got TikTok, you could catch me there. Truly, you could you catch me over too? there. Hell yeah, look. It's promotion, surely. <laughs> look, you got to get on every platform. I've been learning, for me. And just look out for me. I'm coming. I promise y'all. Like, we ain't coming. We ain't on no fuck the op shit. I love the city. Everybody rapping. Keep doing y'all thing. Keep grinding. Most of y'all niggas going hard. Most of y'all niggas, for me, y'all doing y'all thing for me. Like, let's get money this year. 2021, let's get money, more money. For me, that's it.